Ice JJ Fish. I'm your biggest fan. Mmm. No. You rock into a headshot. This isn't a porn, right? It's something about the girl that just makes my head. Excuse me? Twirl. What am I listening to? He's got some mad singing skills. Really? I'm like physically uncomfortable. It sounds like somebody's torturing two male cats. It sounds like a dead chicken caught in a fan. Is this real? Is this like a... <laughs> It's like a thing that they're invested in. He's amazing. I want him to be my best friend. That girl is way too hot. The entire video budget was get a girl with huge boobs. JJ Fish is amazing. Just the name. Wait, did he, did he just do his own backup vocals? Because no one else can warble like him. Is he dance? Is he dancing? No! Is this the forest where he murdered her? I mean, this is all evidence, right? This is all evidence. Oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, she's dancing. Great, love that. I feel like I'm like doing something wrong, but like this is somebody's private video and I'm like shouldn't be watching it. Please tell me this is a joke. <laughs> Come on, he, you have to be jo he's gotta be joking. Ah! A friend hug at the end! A friend hug! Dude just got friend zoned right in the end. What is that? Why? Why? Where did you find that? Holy sh! So do you think this guy is a good singer? I would say he's a specific type of singer. You would think auto-tune would be like, I don't know what the f*** to do with this. It takes talent to be that bad, I think. So we have some lyrics for you. Yes. Can you give us an impersonation? That's what he's saying? Oh, I think I'm a little off. Oh, wait. There it is. She said she wants to take it slow. I'm not the type of guy I'll let you know. When I see the when I let it go. So baby girl, let's do this sort of flow. It's not about forcing yourself onto a woman. This is why I was uncomfortable because this is the stuff that could get you kicked out of a workplace. I don't think he's trying to make a good song. I think he's doing this on purpose. If you watch something like that and you go, he's kidding, right? And then you're like, I don't think so. Some people think this guy is trolling and trying to get a reaction. Do you yourself have to deal with being trolled online? Yeah, like I have a lot of people that are trolling online. That's fake. Your hair's fake. People say that when I smile, I look like Renee Zellweger. <laughs> I don't call them trolls, I just call them my fans. It's just a part of life. And it sucks because I have younger kids that don't really understand that and sometimes there's stuff that's directed towards them. I love going through comments, I love responding to comments. I love it when people come up with clever, funny stuff to say. And so I more just pay attention to that. You just ignore them or respond, but then, then, then that starts stuff, I've learned. <laughs> At first I kind of tried to engage with them, figure out why they were saying what they were. I like to engage them. And then a lot of times, if they're not really crazy, they'll be like, I'm so sorry, I was just in a bad mood, I didn't mean it. The only way to make them go away is to, is just ignore them. It's some sort of like weird Hogwartsian magic of like, if you ignore them, Harry, they cannot tell you that uh, you're, that they f***ed your mother. So back to the video, it has over 25 million views. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get laid on the daily. God damn it! Are you fucking kidding me? That is the most. God damn it! That makes me so mad! I've done the host equivalent of this music video, and I didn't get 20 million views for that. I just got slapped by the dick of Hollywood in the face. Oh man. Oh s. What do you think it would have been like for your career if the internet was as big as it is now when you were starting out? Oh, I'm so glad YouTube didn't exist when I was growing up skating in the 80s as a teenager. Styles and fashion, like, oh. Thank God the internet wasn't around back when I was newly famous and 21, because I would have said and done some stupid stuff, man. I probably wouldn't be here today. I had the opportunity to kind of dive in and do very similar stuff that people are doing on the internet now, but I got a chance to do it on television. 
So the stuff I was doing, you know, 15 years ago, probably wouldn't be that special today because everybody's doing it. So finally, if Ice JJ Fish ended up watching this, what would be your advice for his singing career? I don't have any advice because he's clearly smarter than I am. I would say let's work on your vocals. Diction. Diction is very important. Collaborate. Hey, JJ Fish, let's do a video. Yo, we can get in the studio. You make bad music, I make bad music. This could be amazing. This is a collaboration together and we'll go double cardboard. Hey, Kate. Jake Davidson here in I know, I know this video. Angeles, inviting you to my senior prom on May 23rd. Wait, 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 wait. Hear me out, hear me out. You are the yin to my yang. This is so I'm adorable. 5'9 on a really good day, and I can't dance. You're Christian, 5'10. And that cat daddy video. It's first shave. What's he trying to shave, honey? He doesn't need to shave. You could say this is destiny. Now, Kate. Trying to get with Kate Upton, right? Oh, we this kid is so cute. Life. You're on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I read Sports Illustrated. <laughs> great moments are born from great opportunity. And that is what you have here today. This kid's going Chance places. To make a nice guy senior year the best ever. Mr. Davidson? Thank you. <laughs> Kate, we can ride around all night long. Till 11. That's my curfew. <laughs> but really, it would mean the world to me if you came. Oh, and I'd do you're a privileged little guy. I, I wouldn't Kate? say yes. Mr. Davidson. Thank you. <laughs> so, Kate. You would like to get a nosh? Will you go to prom with me? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's skywriting. Couldn't afford the real thing. Did she go? I loved that. That was adorable. What a little put on. Sweet. A little creepy. But so sweet. This kid has such huge balls. So what was happening in this video? So this guy was proposing to Kate Upton. Very creative. I mean, that took him like three days. Even if she goes. End of the night, it's just a PR stunt for her. She's not gonna f you. So Kate Upton actually responded to him. Saying? She said, I am so flattered, but due to prior commitments, I cannot go. It's bullshit. That's whack, Kate. If she would have gone, people would have been like, oh, she's so thirsty, she just wanted a press story. And then if she didn't go, then people all are like, oh, she just can't be bothered, and she's like very selfish. And I think either way, you're gonna have haters, either way, you're gonna have trolls. But due to the attention this video got, a different supermodel named Nina Agdo ended up going with him. You're shitting me right now. What? Oh, that's cool. It's like a model exchange program. He didn't get Kate, but he, you know, he still did better than he would have done. <laughs> You know, without the video. That kid's a legend! Why do people like to ask celebrities to the prom? Imagine if you're in high school and you show up to your prom with a supermodel. That's the way to end the school year. Because it works! It works! This guy struck out with Kate Upton and got Nina! This is a time in our lives where everybody is so um, attainable. With social media and things like YouTube, you sort of blur the lines of feeling like you know the celebrities more than you actually do. When I was a kid, you couldn't do anything that was gonna garner any sort of attention, especially national or international attention. It's the same reason that someone takes a picture in front of the Empire State Building or in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's saying, okay, this is something that millions of people have seen and they know of, and I'm brushing shoulders with it. What's your perspective being in the public eye when there's this fad of people trying to ask celebrities to go do something. I think it's great. I think it's I think it's fantastic. Celebrities are just f***ing people. They're, they're human beings. They're not weird super beings that have to come down from some uh, sacred fig tree. It's cool that they get that opportunity, you know, that if they want to. But the other side of that is don't aspire to celebrity. I had no intention of getting famous or rich from skateboarding and it just sort of happened and it was like, whoa, weird, now I have this attention and I, you know, I wasn't clamoring to be famous. And if that's all you want is to be famous, it's gonna suck. So what would happen if someone made a video asking you to prom? Give me a sob story and I will go. But it better be real because I'm a journalist and I will sniff your sh out. If I was asked to the prom in this elaborate way, and the timing was right, my wife was cool with it, why not? I think I would get arrested because I'm well over the age of 18. If you tweeted a celebrity, the first thing, if they're anything like me, go to that person's timeline and see if they're tweeting at everybody. It's like, oh, they wanted me or Hulk Hogan. So if you really want me, I'm like a woman, want me. It has happened. I've actually been invited to um, a couple proms, some birthday parties. I was like a prom date for hire. If you lived in the state of Connecticut, 
and your long-term boyfriend broke up with you like a week before the prom, I was your go-to. I went to like six girls prom. It would be somebody be like, hey, my daughter's a fan and she wants you to go to her prom. Back then, the mom was the prom proposal. Finally, back when you were prom age, who was the celebrity crush at the time that you would have asked to prom? Peter, Dink Peter Dinklage is amazing. I would ask Peter Dinklage to prom now. Molly Ringwald. I would go Will Smith. Who, who would be more fun? Jimmy Fallon. <sighs> such a dork. I had a very big crush like senior year on uh, Adam Young from Owl City. Tawny Katan, White Snake, Paula Abdul. I would have said stop dating that cartoon cat, DJ's cat cat. Alan Aldo, where are you at? That or like Donald Sutherland or something. I'm into the old guys. <laughs> Mariah Carey. I would have did a promposal video to my wife. I actually technically did that. I did a, a wedding <laughs> proposal video. Every time I did an interview, I told people I love Mariah Carey. She saw it, heard it, and I'm the luckiest man on earth. Aww. Cute. Milk seafood? I already know it's going to be good. It's a Japanese commercial. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Wait, what, what? They can do this on TV? He's hand coming into a ramen. Oh, it's pee and poop. The classic combo. Why does it gotta be so creepy? I love Japan. That's a, that's a, that's a video. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, I would die! <laughs> this is amazing! I have had this dream. That would be the greatest thing ever! That was the best commercial I've ever seen in my life. You are shitting me! What is that? What am I looking at? Stop it. That is really upsetting. That is really upsetting to me. God damn it! What? What is this product? That, what was that for? Oh, there's more. Oh, f huh? What? What is happening? What the? What? Whoa! Stop! Oh my god. That is so gross. Hashtag unexpected boner. Anochi should be nowhere near kids and his commercials should be banned from all television. I don't like that dog. That would scare the hell out of you! This is awesome. Stick. That's not even sort of a real dog. None of those are. <laughs> this is my favorite thing I've seen so far. I want this dog. That's cute. I don't like the way he's touching his knee there. Oh good, he goes after the little girls too. No, don't. What are you doing? Can you imagine like coming across this while they're shooting it? Can you? He was just abducted. And then an alien takes him. Oh, here come the chips. Now are these dog chips or chips for humans? This is awesome. So next time people ask what project I'm working on next, I'm just gonna say I'm shooting commercials in Japan. A lot of Japanese culture falls into two categories, horrifying and f***able. The dog is f***able. <laughs>So we're gonna talk about each of these Japanese commercials one at a time. First was the milk seafood noodle. Yeah, I remember. They're supposed to represent cheese and pepper. No, his head is a, is a, is a rook piece for chess. The other guy is from like Invader Zim. The pepper looks like a turd. The other dude just looks like poop. No one on the set said, you know, pepper <laughs> looks like sh Would you eat that? Hell no. No, I wouldn't. It's like a three time vegan offense. And I'm vegan this week. It actually sounds really good, especially if those guys would come and fire it off into, if they'd rub one out into my noodles. Next was the gum commercial with the cat and the man. Did that make any sense? No, but it, it, it definitely, I would go out and buy that gum. It makes about as much sense as anything else that I just sort of looked at. That one made the most sense out of all of them. And that's crazy to say, because it didn't make any sense. It doesn't translate culturally, but I also assume that if someone from Japan saw our five gum commercials, then they would be very confused. We have those Old Spice commercials. That's exact, those are our Japanese commercials. And then there was Inochi. I don't like it. 
super creeper. Oh, he looks like the dude from The Goonies. It's very strange. His head is shaped just like this. He's adorable, and then it but he's like a sexual predator. That one was like way over my head. What was the commercial for? Those were commercials for an art exhibit featuring that creature. Art? That's not gonna make me go to the art show. Oh my God, that's really weird. I would like to see that art show though. So I, 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 if there are no erections. Whenever you talk about advertising, you're like, I think it's stupid. Someone will always be like, but here we are talking about it. I hate to agree with that, idiot, but I, here we are talking about it. Finally, the commercials featuring the dog. That dog, I couldn't decide whether that dog was creepy or cute. The dog was the most awesome dog. Where can I get this dog? That made no sense. Again, none of these make sense. None of these are actually selling the products. If you were a kid and this dog appeared to you offering chips, what do you think you would have done? I would have ran. Cry? Scream? What I do is I repress that memory, and years later when I'm doing an interview, I remember the... I just remembered some really bad stuff that happened. Now I know why I don't like golden retrievers. Would you be down to star in a Japanese commercial? Absolutely. As long as a note she's not in it. I would be down for the cat one. I mean, it's a giant cat. If that cat was walking around the studio right now, come on, we would all be, well, we'd be freaked out, let's be honest. Not just one, give me several. Bring the, the, the poopy pepper head guy, the dude with the chubby, and like, we could all start a boy band. And you can bring Ice JJ Fish in to do the remix. Hey guys, thanks for watching this special episode of React. There's a lot of buttons flashing at you right now, and it'd be really nice if you pressed on all of them, and then subscribe to all of our channels, because we're nice and we like you, and we'd never lead you astray. Please, we need you to like us. That's how we judge ourselves based on your button pushing. Bye everybody, thanks for including me. However people say goodbye on YouTube. Until next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't offend anyone. Please, it happens a lot.